Hi guys, today's crafty video is all about how to make felt balls. I wanted to learn how to make these a couple years ago um, to make those very cute like felted ball garlands, little pom-pom kind of ones. Um, and uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it, but this is how I found for me as like a total beginner textile person uh, works the best. Um, so I do it by forming like a general ball shape with this little needle felting set up and then going over to the sink and making it a little bit more dense with a wet felting uh, set up. So I think you can probably do it one way or the other. I just, because I don't have a lot of experience with felting, I find it easiest um, to get the general ball shape with the, with the sponge and then wet felt it so it's a little more compact. Uh, so. Let's get started. So the first step is to make a general sphere shape uh, with a sponge. Um, so you just pull out however much you think you'll need. And um, I, I always kind of mess up on this stage and I have to make a few. And that's fine because I, I always have some extra ones that I can use for projects when I make them too big or too small. Uh, so make a few. <laughs> um, what I like to do is fold it kind of over itself, wrap it around itself until it's kind of like a, like a little ball. And then you put it on the wet felting thing and then obviously not getting your fingers. Uh, uh, and there's tons of tutorials, tutorials on YouTube about needle felting, but basically you just put the like little folded ball thing that you've made onto the sponge and poke it. And then turn it over, poke it again. Obviously watch what you're doing. Uh, and the idea here is not perfection. <laughs> uh, if you're trying to make super perfect ones, this is probably not the tutorial for you. Um, but I like the way that they look. I think they look really cute. So. So this is like a very loose, just ball of, of felt. Um, it's squishy because there's still quite a lot of air in it. Um, now I could sit here and I could needle felt this. I could just sit here and keep poking it like all day. Um, all day, but for a while. And, and it will get more dense, but you'll be able to see those little holes. Um, I, you know, I think if I was a pro, you probably couldn't see the holes, but you, you really can see those little needle felted holes if you're not doing this like every day, all day. So um, I like to wet felt it once it's kind of in like a general pom pom shape. So time for the wet felting. So you're gonna need two bowls or a sink with two compartments. So this first bowl I'm filling up with cold, cold water. Uh, and then the other bowl is going to be hot, hot water with some soap in it, just dish soap. I'm just using like plain Dawn dish soap. Uh, so we've got hot soapy water, um, preferably in the bigger bowl if your bowls are different sizes, and then cold water in the other bowl. So next thing is rubber gloves. Uh, this was a pro tip that I got from a textile pro. Um, shout out to Rebecca at Tabby shop-tabby.com um, she's awesome and she recommended using um, rubber gloves that had like a textured palm um, when we had like a Christmas crafty party um, remember when we had parties <laughs> anyway um, yeah so the textured palm really helps uh, just kind of mold the fibers together so take one of the balls that you've needle felted into kind of a sphere uh, and then it goes first into the hot soapy water. And what you want to do is just kind of roll it around between your two palms. Try to find that like sweet spot um, right in the middle of your palm that's kind of like a little depression, like a little divot. Um, and really gently roll around the ball um, just between your two hands. Um, gently 
<laughs> and once you've done that for a little bit, dip it in the cold water. That will kind of like shock all the fibers. Um, and honestly, when you're doing this, like the first few times, it just looks like this floppy, sad um, chunk of wool, which it is. Um, but you just have to practice and it does, it does take a while, even once you've done it quite a few times. The first few back and forths between the hot water and cold water are not pretty. Uh, so we're just going to go back and forth from the hot soapy water and then kind of shock it in the cold water and then back to the hot soapy water, just rolling it very gently. As soon as you like think you can speed it up by smushing it, it it doesn't end well. So you get these like flat little balls with these weird seams. So if you take your time and just go slowly and you put on some uh, music <laughs> Or just enjoy it. enjoy doing something repetitive and quiet and slow. Yeah, so it's starting to form into a ball at this point. So that's nice. It's less of a floppy little wet wool mess. So back into the cold water, into the hot water, into the cold water until it starts to actually become like a dense little felt ball. And it's surprising how it actually does shrink in size and become quite a bit denser you can tell when you, when a when a felt ball has been wet felted because it's just so much more denser than one that's been just needle felted I find um, certainly with my beginner skills eventually you're gonna reach a size or a density that you like um, and once you've got it how you like it I would I would just stop <laughs> I would stop there and let it dry. I've just got a baking cooling rack here and I'm, I'm drying them on that, but they're fine just on the counter too. So one last thing you can do is to just kind of roll them again in the center of your palm on a cloth. And that helps them dry a little bit faster. It, I don't know, it's probably not really necessary, but <laughs> Sometimes you have a craft that you really want to do and actually there's not very much water like I could probably make a garland with it um, as is right now. Um, I like to let them dry overnight but it would probably be fine like unless you're doing something with glue I think it would be fine. So that's the easiest way I found as the beginner crafter to make uh, felt balls that look decent um, but also don't take all day. So I'm really happy with uh, this method and uh, I'll keep using it and refining it over the coming years. I think I wanna make one of those little pom-pom garlands every year, they are so cute. Uh, I also love making the felted acorns. So they're very cute on the Christmas tree. I did a garland once of them too, it was really nice. Uh, so subscribe if you would like more of these kind of Christmassy DIYs and also of course, house plants and outside plants. Just, it's kind of snowy here right now. So all the plants are asleep. Um, so yeah, it's time to do some crafts. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.